opening face-off tonight will feature Alex and uh, Wenberg of Seattle and uh, Connor McDavid of Edmonton. Sit back and enjoy this one. Off the draw, Warren Fogle on this top line for Fleury. Right on the money for Morgan Geeky. He'll hit the line, look around, drop it off for Donato. His shot sealed up. No! It leaks through Stuart Skinner. Ryan Donato has scored again. And the Kraken are off and running. First shot on goal of the game. Geeky does a good job delaying, finding time. Donato just waits and throws it at the net. Good things can happen. Like you said, John, it just squeaks right under that right arm of Skinner. Donato doesn't care either way as long as that puck crosses the line. But good things happen when you shoot the puck. Larson walks the line. His shot off a body in front. It goes high. Left there for Donato. His chance on the short side. Stopped by Skinner. He'll melt it down. Playing around the boards, Marcus Johansson. Broken up, Connor McDavid takes it in. Centers one, Fogel's shot shielded by Drieger. And it goes out of play. He'll circle the track. Take it to the outside, back for Susi. Wrist shot tipped wide through the traffic. McCann and Eberle out in front. Schwartz, Jordan Eberle in back of the goal. Former Oiler first rounder, they score! Jared McCann! What a pass by Eberle! Right on the money, and McCann goes top cheddar! 2-0, Seattle! Eberle's gonna do a little dance behind the net. The sweet backhand right out to the middle. You see the point? McCann knows how nice of a pass that was on and off the stick. Skinner has no chance, but what a way for him to get that payback. Right there was the cross check. He gets down, gets up, finds himself right in the middle. Dreisaitl hits the line off a stick wide. Cooper Marodi, Evan Bouchard at the point. He'll advance. Shot taken. They score! Possible redirection, but it beats Chris Trigger. Evan Bouchard from downtown. And the Oilers cut the lead in half. Right here you have it. Bouchard is going to take a nice shot. He's not able to see it. You see he shoots through the screen of True. Maybe it gets a deflection. Not sure. Maybe off the glove and in. But you see Bouchard again. He scored last time these two teams played. It looks right there that it might have gone off Drieger's glove. Tyler Benson for the Oilers. Knocked out of midair by Derek Ryan. A Spokane native. He'll carry in. He, along with Yamamoto, tipped right on. Trigger said no. Nice tip by Colton Sevier. Along with our great crew, Vince Dunn. Right on the money, Wenberg. Johansson off the goal post, and it stays out. Edmonton number one with their power play, both overall and on the road. Seattle tied for 13th on the kill. McDavid in on Trigger. Vogel knocking on the door. And it stays out, but it's held in at the point by Barry. This way for Connor McDavid. Barry again around the clock, Dreisaitl, off bodies in front. Shielded a bit, and a good job in front of the goal by Hayden Fleury, a steal. Short-handed break in, Brandon Tanev walks in, stopped by Skinner. And Tanev was given a rough ride by Yamamoto. Here's McDavid calling for it, Dreisaitl, Yamamoto, kicked out, they score on the rebound. It's Warren Fogel who put himself in the right place at the right time. He has goals in back-to-back -back games, and the Oilers have tied it. The puck goes right the other way. Yamamoto with the one-timer off the pad, right to Fogel. Call it a little pad pass, not necessarily trying to score right off. Not able to find the rebound, and it's right off the stick and into the back of the net. Juicy rebound. Second period of the long change, a giveaway. McDavid, the wrong guy, shielded by Trigger. With a tight turn on Colton Sevier, he'll steam out the center ice. He'll fork it by three players and get it deep. True follows up, and Skinner takes care of that. Perlini drops it off. Here's Bouchard, side of the goal, Yamamoto, padded down by Trigger. Another chance blocked in front. That was Dreisaitl with a bid. Giordano for Donskoy. He'll advance it. Good peppering by Dreisaitl and a breakout. Fogel and Dreisaitl, shorthanded Warren Fogel, turned out by Trigger. He took care of the rebound with Dreisaitl right out in front. McCann for Dunn. This way it's Schwartz. Side of the goal, Everly in front. What a save! Skinner a dandy on McCann. 
Flashing on the weak side. Great movement from Seattle. Everly over to McCann on the one-timer side. But look at Skinner. He's a big goaltender. He's able to get over there, uses his size to his advantage, and is able to make the glove save right there. It's the one-touch passing. Edmonton's not able to get back into position. Moved along by Susie to the corner. Griffith is there. So is Geeky for Seattle. He's got it. Morgan Geeky hit hard by Griffith. Out in front. They score. Colton Sevier picks up the loose change. And McDavid was helping out too. But it's Colton Sevier's goal. And with 7.08 left in the second period, Edmonton up by one. A bounce right out in front. McDavid tries to get a piece of it. And then Sevier is going to be able to be right in the right spot for a backhand and be able to put it into the net. But Edmonton stayed hard and relentless on their forecheck, not allowing. So now the Kraken will be challenged by this. Done with a shot, a tip attempt goes wide from McCann. Everly back in front by Schwartz. McCann stopped again. Skinner right on the spot. Schwartz is in the slot. He sends it back for Carson Soucy, who defers again for Jordan Everly. He'll crank it up. The outside, Susie, a shot off the middle, the rebound, Susie, he scores! The first shot was Lozon, that's my bad, but not the follow-up. It's Carson Susie who finds the yawning cage, and the Kraken have tied it. Susie's in the right spot, able to get a good shot off, a little bit of a wobbling puck. That's from one knee from that distance, a really good shot from Susie, and a good play by Everlay creating space. Lozon with the first one and Susie with the second. Here comes McDavid through the center zone, marked by three, drops it off for Barry. His shot body down by Drieger. Larson cleaned up the rebound and Mason Appleton has it. Morgan Kiki shoved by Yamamoto. Here come the Kraken. This is Ryan Donato by the shrapnel. He'll take it in to the corner. Walk in a power move, stopped by Skinner. Great chance by Ryan Donato. Cuckoo goes off the defensive stick of Lozon. Fogel checked by Giordano. Zach Cassian to the corner. It's Dreisaitl. One-timer Bouchard stopped by Drigger. They score! No goal! Tough one. It could have gone either way. I do think they made the right decision on this play. It is the push. I think the puck was already going over Drieger's shoulder off of Fogel's chest, and then Giordano pushes him in. Again, I think they made the right call, but you still got 11 minutes and six seconds. You just go back to work. We have a verdict, and we'll get the explanation here, I believe, from John McIsaac. After review, Edmonton challenged the play for no goaltender interference. By the actions of number five on Seattle, pushing the Edmonton player in, there's a good goal. But he can do it. That's remarkable. Now, Cody Cece, knocked down by Johansson. Cassian, empty net, McDavid roars in and puts it away. Connor McDavid with 51.2 seconds left. 5-3, Edmonton. Everly gives it his best effort. McDavid's able to fend him off. They end up, they do call a penalty on Everly on the play. McDavid puts it into the net. So that is washed out. But again, it's a good effort by Everly, but McDavid shows off. He's got a little bit too much speed. And they're eighth on the road. They will win the season series two games to one. They will surround the Stuart Skinner, who is outstanding. And the Edmonton Oilers defeat the Seattle Kraken 5-3.